hesitate for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 216 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Doho Choi. All right, commit the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fight. The fighters touch gloves. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Great punch landed with so much power. Over and over, he's landed a big body kick. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Lands the right hand. What a body kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Might be a submission attempt here, Shane. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, come on. He's having his way with him here. <laughs> Able to land the single ground strike there. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Just over three minutes to go. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. And he's back up. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He was so used to punches coming straight, he didn't see the hook. I'm sorry, he didn't see the uppercut coming from underneath. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Dig and kick. Lands with the lead right. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Choi's overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He can't grab that one, and it gets blocked. Rippling uppercut for him there. Big head kick lands. Hands up. Hands up. 
And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. That's a big strike right there. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Big kick lands. Nice one-two combination there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice punch lands over the top. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. He did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it by getting hit over and over in the face. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive through <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Joy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. You gotta show up the defense here, though. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Look at the force behind that leg kick. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from this clinch position. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And they separate. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these Leg kick. Oh, collar tie. Yes, that he heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Three minutes now to go in round two. Can't take many of those. You better check. All right, single collar tie now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is this takedown defense? Again, back into this position. 
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Choi's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Big punch position. Watch him get busy with that other hand. A real quick leg kick. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Outstanding kick there by Choi. Nice leg kick. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. It's such a fast leg kick. Nice. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. takedown attempt, but he does not land it. Oh! Head kick! You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big punch lands through the middle. 20 seconds to go round two. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Right up the elbow. By the play. Ten Four minutes in, in the books. Oh. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Checks that leg kick. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. There's no tell on that leg kick. His right hand punches the clinch. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. the target, so a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Way to hide that leg. Oh, and he connects there. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high to the point of he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, big left hook there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts.
Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Nice straight punch. That elbow got to the target very quick. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by the Korean Super Bowl. Slips to avoid that left. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Beautiful strike. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. for that left hand, not there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Single collar tie now. Left right combo is good. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Ooh, what a punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. A nice stick to the body. Way to mix up the target. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, Jim. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Big leg kick land. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you got the Anderson Silva situation. And they separate. Big kick. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Just misses there with the left. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens when you get very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Wow, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Superman punch. Got clip with the right hand. Big leg kick land. Got the single collar tie. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch, I just put a smile on my face. Unable to land with that punch. And potentially a critical takedown here. 
Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Good jab. Straight right hand now, just misses. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Choi's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. And he landed the right hand there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Two minutes remain in the round. Very tricky. Here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Choi. Punch over the top. Nice head kick. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. Just misses with a left hook there. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. A little single collar tie there. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? Choi strike attempt there is blocked. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Beautiful body kick. Kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Wow. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. by the Korean Super Bowl. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. When you're in the clinch, you can go down the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. What a punch. And there comes the separation now. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Oh! 
Switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Nice kick. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's gonna get his hand raised tonight. He's gotta go forward. He's gotta just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's gonna end the fight. There is no time for strategy. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Joy gets caught with that punch. Just missed with the leg kick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. All right, so let us see who has enough left to finish this fight. I'm looking at two fighters who are on the verge of gassing out. I mean, they have done everything in their power to finish this fight, but their opponents are so tough that they find themselves very late and both asking the question, how do I get this done? Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishing. Went for the inside leg kick. Straight punch lands. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Look at the control of the posture as he land that knee. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, collar tie. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Big punch land. Ooh. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent.
the official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision. And so